Hi, welcome to the fourth episode of Chatbot Creation. In the earlier episode, we have created two ML models in AI Fabric, which is German to English and English to German. And in this video, we are going to utilize this ML packages in UiPath Studio and create a bot for incorporating these two AI Fabric models. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nisar Vikadam, and let's get started with today's video. Now, as you can see, earlier it was deploying. Now the status is looking as available. Once the status is available, you can go ahead and you can utilize UiPath Studio to create a workflow. Before I get started with demonstration of creating a workflow, I would like to tell you that I'm using UiPath Studio, which is Studio Pro. And if you want to download Enterprise Trial Studio, you can just go ahead and look. I have already told you how to enable the Enterprise Trial license for your orchestrator. Now, if you want to download, then you just simply have to navigate to home and you can see here you can see the resource center. You can just click on the resource center and you can download the enterprise trial edition from here. The current version which I'm using is UiPath Studio Pro 2020.4.1 and the available version is 20.4.3. So the latest version is available. You can go ahead and you can download it from here. Now let's get started. Once you enable UiPath Studio Pro, click on a new process and I will create a new process where I will say the bot name is translator chatbot. Now in this translator chatbot, it converts, it helps to convert languages from English to German and German to English. Now I have given the description, location and the name. Now let's go ahead and let's create a process. It is adding dependencies. The package which we need in order to use is ML package. Now before we go ahead and get started with the development, I would like to tell you my bot is connected with orchestrator. Now, how do you connect with orchestrator? If you want to check that, how do you connect your UI paths or orchestrator with your studio? Go ahead and check the video which I have attached in the comment section below or the caption of this particular video below, where I have told how to connect unattended robot with your local machine. Now, once you connect unattended robot with local machine, let's go ahead and let's start the bot creation. I will drag a flow chart in between here, open the flow chart, save it. And let's take in, first of all, let's create two arguments. The first argument we'll create is going to be German input is because we are going to take in the value as a German language as input. And then we need a German output. So we have two values, which is German input, German output. German output is going to be out direction. Now with that, what we have is, let's add one input dialog. So I will add an input dialog here. I will say this is for reading German. So as of now, I'm creating a local bot. Then we will proceed further and we'll create a bot and we'll tweak the bot according that it can integrate with chatbot. So first of all, we'll say this is a input and this is what enter your German text here. Okay. So this is going to be German input, right? Save it. Once we do this, now we need a ML skill activity to get a package, which is which is German to English. Now, in order to use this package, what we need is, first of all, we need a package, which is, let's connect click on official. Let's say ML. We need a ML services activity package. So uipath.mlservices.activities. Let's go ahead, let's install it and save it. Now, once we download and install the uipath ML services activities, we will have ML skill activity available in the activities panel. Let's drag it here. And let's give it a name as ML skill. This is for German to English. Now, once we have German to English ML skill available, just double click, open it and refresh it. Once you're connected to orchestrator and the ML skill are available, which are German to English and English to German, it will be visible here in the drop down. Now I need to select the German to English. You can go ahead and you can test it. And also you can pass the input and output. Now input, you can see the description is text to be translated and output is translated text in the English language. So you can click on test skill. You can enter here German text. Now let's go ahead and let's say uh, English to German in Google translation. 
let's enter some text which is how are you so if this is a german text let's copy this and enter it into the test and let's test whether this ml model is working or not click on test skill now once you click on test skill it will go ahead and it will display your output which is how are you which is perfect exactly correct according to what we are expecting now that we know that this workflow is this ml skill is working perfectly let's pass it input which is german input so this is going to be german input and we need an output which is going to be a variable called as english output because this is an english text which is which we are getting as output now once we have it let's come back and let's display in a message box here so let's display in a message box here that this is a translated English okay so let's click here and let's say here that English German English translation is colon plus English output now we have our translation now let's go ahead and let's add the next ml skill but before that we need to take answer from user what would you like to reply to this particular german question so for that we will need again one more input dialog so we will take an input dialog and we will say as reply in english so this is going to be an english reply so we will say mm, your reply and write here as what would you like to reply uh, to this message and then we will add environment dot new line environment dot new line is nothing but the new line addition just like sorry my spelling mistake environment dot new line plus enter a uh, text followed by German colon okay okay perfect so what we are going to do is we are going to pass the data just like this okay not this one but basically what we have to do is we have to pass the reply so this is not needed because we are anyhow passing so let's remove this one and just say what would you like to reply to this message that's it now this is going to be our english so this is english input okay now just to give you a quick understanding what we have created is first of all we are reading a german message an input dialog then we are passing it to ml skill we are converting that german message to english we are displaying it to user that this is the english translation of the german message which you have entered and then what would you like to reply to this particular question or the sentence which is in german in english and then again we will go ahead and convert it into from english to german so this time we need english to german test skill now let's see how are you we are inputting the data in english and we will get a german output which is going to be this one now let's go ahead and let's verify whether it is correct so it's perfect as you can see now let's close this guy and let's pass it as input so our previous output of previous input dialog which is english input is going to be input for this ml skill and the output is going to be german output and hence we are completed with our workflow now finally we will add a message box with displayed message as message as german translation or you can say english to german message this is what reply message okay so let's add it and let's say this is german output and this is wonderful now once we have completed this let's rename this ml skill as ml skill for english to german and this message box is nothing but reply in german so this is a basic translator which we have created you can go ahead and you can loop it back with the guy right here which is reading german and now you can go ahead and you can take enjoyment and enjoy this particular translator that you have created let's test it let's say run we have a google translator anyhow so let's go ahead and let's see what we have created so enter your german text here so my german text is nothing but uh, hey 
what is your name? So this is my German text, which is, hey, what is your name? V heißen du. So I think I pronounced it right. So this is the German text. Let's click on OK. Now it is going to give us English translation, which is German to English translation is, hey, what's your name? And this is perfect. OK, now let's click on OK. And what would you like to reply to this message? So I would like to reply, my name is Zerg. And I say, OK, now let's change it to German. OK, so this is we are changing to German, German to English. And now you see the second ML skill has written English to German reply messages. My name is my name is Nisar, which is a German text. Now let's verify whether it is correct. So I'll say my name is Nisar. So, oh, sorry. So it is English to German, right? So this is English and this is German. So it's high in Nisar or so also, I, I know pretty basics of German. I'm not lying, but yeah, I have done pretty basics of German. So I know my name is Nisarg is also my name is Nisarg uh, in German. So the workflow is working pretty perfect and we have attached in a loop. So we can go ahead and create and test multiple inputs and check the output. But before that, let's go ahead into UiPath Orchestrator. Now we can see the predictions column here, right? In the ML skill. So this indicates that how many times you have used this particular ML model. So let's refresh it and it shows you both models were used two times. Now you will say we have given input only once. Then how come it shows two? It's because we have all, all we have also tested it with the test ML skill activity uh, with the test button. So that is also calculated as a prediction. Now this is wonderful. Let's go ahead. Let's stop it. I don't want to loop it continuously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this loop. Now this is what we have created as a translator chatbot using AI fabric and we are using two ML models to use where we are converting German to English and English to German. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we will see how we can incorporate this particular workflow in UiPath dialogue flow, sorry, Google dialogue flow. So let's wait for the next video till the time next time. Happy automation.